Now, the advice shared here is not just for individuals or businesses in the UK. It applies to all of us, no matter where we are in the world. Companies are under huge attack, not just in the UK, but around the world. British government agents demand action after UK mega cyber attacks surge by 50%. This is from the register, from Cyber News, empty shelves and stalled production lines, UK suffering four major cyber attacks a week. The UK National Cyber Security Center has created a cyber action toolkit. This is just good cybersecurity advice. Start protecting your business today with our free cyber toolkit. The cyber action toolkit gives you clear bite-sized actions to protect your business's money and reputation from cyber criminals. It doesn't just apply to businesses. A lot of this information also applies to individuals. Are you helping your mother, your grandmother, your family implement best practices so that they are also secure from attacks. Don't think that small businesses or individuals are immune to attacks. In the UK, one in two small businesses identified a cyber attack last year. Around one in four UK small businesses experienced a cyber crime. Cyber attacks affect all of us. Doesn't matter how small the business is, doesn't matter if you're an individual, doesn't matter where you are in the world, this is affecting all of us in 2025 and going into 2026. So if you work for a small business or you are helping small businesses, have a look at this because it's actually quite useful. It's a free toolkit, so you can click Get Free Toolkit and then they ask you the size of your business. Is it just you? Is it two to nine people, 10 to 49, 50 plus, et cetera? So let's just have a look at us as individuals, just me. And then it says, I'm a small business looking for cybersecurity advice for my own organization, or I'm a cybersecurity professional exploring the service for my clients or professional use. So let's say you want to give advice to people. Click next. Do we have a certification? No, we don't. Let's create the toolkit. This gives you some basic actions to look at about improving the cybersecurity posture of your business. Now, here's an example of the report that you get. Notice layers of protection, foundation, improver, enhanced. I'll start with the foundation topics. You'll know a lot of these already probably, like securing your business email accounts, using a password manager, securing important online accounts, Check that your devices are up to date. Check your apps, secure your devices. So first thing, secure your business's email accounts. And then it explains stuff like change your email password, turn on 2FA, create a pass key. Even in a small business, or if you're just giving advice to your family, this gives you some valid things to look at. So they say, do not use personal info like your business name or date of birth. And they give you tips like use three random words like this easy to remember and difficult to hack. Turn on two-step verification. Two-step verification significantly reduces the likelihood of successful attacks between 76% and 99%. That is a huge difference. So two-step verification, sometimes referred to as multi-factor authentication, MFA, or two-factor authentication, 2FA, adds an extra layer of security. Even if someone gets your password, they won't be able to log in without a second step. And then they mention different types of 2FA text message, not the best thing to do, but as they say here, it's less secure, but it's much safer than having no 2FA at all. Authenticator apps like Google or Microsoft Authenticator, and then backup codes are another option. How to turn on 2FA on your email, they help you do that. And then they mention pass keys, which are a great way to do things. Passwords can be hacked, so don't use a password. Use a pass key. One of my favorite ways of doing this is to use a YubiKey. If you really want to improve your cybersecurity posture, have a look at using keys like YubiKeys rather than using authenticator codes. These are definitely a great way to go. So use these for 2FA or use them as part of pass keys to give you much better security. Now, a second foundational option is password managers. Are you using a password manager? You should be in 2025, but is your family using a password manager? They say the average internet user has 227 accounts requiring a password. There's no way that you can remember all of those passwords and make them unique and strong. So you need a password manager to suggest strong new passwords, creating and storing passwords, and they work across multiple devices. They give you options for password managers like device password managers from Apple, Google, and Microsoft. We've got browser-based password managers, 
and then you've got password manager apps. Now there are very good ones out there. A free one that you can use is Proton Pass. So if you haven't got a password manager or your family's not using a password manager, get Proton Pass. Fantastic option and they give you a free option to start with. Now, I want to thank Proton for sponsoring this video. I have a really good relationship with Proton. They have fantastic apps like Proton VPN, Proton Pass, as well as Proton Mail. If you're not using a password manager, go and get Proton Pass. It's free to get started. You get a lot more benefits if you pay for Proton. So look at their VPN solution. Don't get some dodgy VPN, get Proton VPN, but make sure that you download and use Proton Pass. So get Proton Pass today for 40% off using my link proton.me forward slash David Bumble. Proton, privacy by default. Improver helps you improve your cybersecurity by removing unnecessary user accounts, backing up your important work files and data, creating separate administrator and user accounts. How many of you do that on your personal devices or on your parents' devices? Because I'm sure you probably IT support for them. Teach them how to spot a cyber attack. Check your antivirus and firewall settings. And then enhance settings are options like plan your response to a cyber attack, limit administrator access to cloud services, review your digital footprint, consider cyber essentials. Removing your digital footprint is an interesting thing to see from the government. So they talk about removing anything that's not essential for daily operations, ask others to remove outdated or excessive info. And how about this one? Unlink from unknown or outdated connections on platforms like LinkedIn. Avoid sharing your personal email addresses publicly. Keep your personal and business accounts separate. Review your personal digital footprint. So search for your name online as an example. Make your accounts private if you can. So what I think is great about this is there are a bunch of basic cybersecurity steps that you can take to improve your cybersecurity posture. It's also something that you can give to family and friends or small businesses. If you're a consultant or you wanna provide consulting services to businesses, this gives you a great roadmap of things to make sure that those businesses are doing to improve their cybersecurity posture. A lot of businesses aren't gonna have this stuff implemented. A lot of it's really basic cybersecurity stuff, but are they actually implementing it? This gives you a good way to say, look, the government thinks that you should be doing these steps, then you can consult with your family, yourself, small businesses, et cetera, to make sure that they are improving their cybersecurity posture. But what do you think? Do you think this is good? Perhaps you're doing all of this already, but what about your family and friends? What about small businesses? Pretty sure a lot of people are not implementing this stuff, even though it's basic cybersecurity stuff. 